Families of COVID-19 victims in Japan have been suffering a double anguish, the loss of their loved ones and severe restrictions on their funerals. The Japanese health ministry has now relaxed its guidelines to allow a traditional farewell. NHK World's Koyama Shoko explains. Funeral guidelines issued in 2020 stipulated that the deceased should be placed in a body bag and people were discouraged from touching the corpse. Traditionally in Japan, many people want to touch their loved ones before they make their final journey. Last week, the health ministry relaxed those guidelines. The move came too late for Shinokura Kunio, who lives in Chikushino, a city in southwestern Japan. The 80-year-old lost his wife, Hisae, in August 2022, and she was infected with COVID when she died. I wanted to caress my wife, to say a last farewell, and to tell her, thank you. I've spent a happy life because I was with you. But he was told that Hisae's body needed to be cremated immediately. She was placed in a body bag. He could not even see her face, let alone touch her. It's unbearable for her to have been treated like that just because she was infected with the coronavirus. The health ministry drew up the new guidelines for COVID victims based on the advice of experts and funeral directors. Body bags will no longer be required, and people will be allowed to touch the deceased, provided they wash their hands afterwards. But anyone who has been in close contact with infected people will still be encouraged to take part in proceedings via video link. Health Minister Kato Katsunobu said the change was in response to feedback from families who were unable to say a final goodbye to their loved ones. Shinokura welcomes the move. He realized how important traditional funerals are to the grieving process. I think other bereaved families, not just me, are feeling frustrated and upset. From now on, funerals can be held as usual. And I think it's very good that no one else will have to go through what I experienced.